mind many thanks for staying with us so welcome back you're still watching hashtag why in the morning right here with me brian sakwa but before we get too far you can start to engage with us on our social media our facebook instagram twitter and uh which are the platform, even YouTube as well, at Y254 channel. And uh, the hashtag to plug in on is Y in the morning and personally at Brian Soko 101. Now, we're going to go straight up into our interview, first interview of the day. We're going to talk about matters, local tourism in Kenya. And uh, joining us live in studio to take us through this conversation is uh, Melvin Akoth Ogala, who is the, who's also the CEO for Mel Safaris Tours and Travels, which is a company that's actually, you know, uh, playing a major role in the tourism industry right now, live in studio. Good morning to you, Melvin. Good morning, Brian. How nice are you? Nice to meet you. I'm good. Thank you. For nice to you. meet you too. How Thank you, you so much for having me. I'm You're feeling welcome. good. Yeah. yeah. Thank uh -huh. you. Yeah. All right. Welcome to Y254. Thank you very much. All right. Let's go straight up into it. Uh, if, uh, if you were to talk about, you know, uh, Mel Safari's tours and travels, uh, how would you describe it? And, and maybe just briefly some of the things that you do behind the scenes that have impacted um, the tourism sector at large. Okay. Okay, so at Mel Safari's tours and travels, we do, just like any other normal travel into a company, we do travels and tour, we do... Uh, vacations, we do hotel bookings, right. we do flight ticketing, we do staycations, vacations, bush safaris, uh, Airbnb bookings all over Kenya and East Africa. We also do um, the hotel bookings, I said already, and we also do corporate team building. And capacity right. building, yeah. Capacity team build, because yeah. you know, uh, I, I have I had a friend of mine who was also in that space, but mm -hmm. when the pandemic came, he had to switch to another business because uh -huh. I know COVID nineteen was 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 a disaster. It yeah. shook so many companies and organizations, mm -hmm. and uh, it, it it actually put people on the map, employers, yeah. companies, yeah. etc., mm -hmm. who had to actually become so vulnerable to a point they mm -hmm. had to let go of people. Yeah. And uh, on that note, uh, how did your company survive? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that time that turbulent time of the COVID-19 COVID pandemic yeah yeah COVID-19 was very disastrous um, uh, and I think not even just the tourism sector only um, major companies they had to let uh, employees go home or something of the sort and um, the tourism industry we, we got hit really bad because now we uh, we wouldn't get visitors from outside uh, due to lockdown and uh, everything and even within the country we couldn't get uh, people move around because yeah tourism is just moving around checking new areas right. and enjoying yourself but if you're deprived of that freedom to move around right. uh, then as people we are in business organizing such we were really hit so we did uh, of course some of our employees did go home but now we are trying to bring them back uh, yeah. because they, they were good employees but uh, uh, when COVID-19 uh, COVID struck business went down really right. really down really really down but mm -hmm. uh, we're just trying to bring uh, have bring in more methods to help us uh, uh, now survive in such pandemics. COVID-19, uh, in as much as it, as it was disastrous, it was an eye-opener. Like, when something like that happens again in the future, what will we do? Right. Yeah, so we are trying to recover as well, and we are trying to find mechanisms of survival during such right. periods, yeah. Uh, and speaking of survival, uh, I'm really interested to know some of the things that you guys are doing to get back afloat, because... Mm -hmm. That, 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 like you mentioned, that COVID-19 mm. uh, season was yeah. very dark and turbulent. Are there mm. maybe strategies that you guys have, you know, employed to mm -hmm. ensure that, you know, you continue to stay in business? Yeah, uh, majorly, sometimes we mainly focus on uh, foreign tourists, the ones who come from abroad to Kenya. But now we're trying to focus more on local tourists, uh, or rather domestic tourists, so that when something like that happens again, we still have our own people who can be able to travel, you know, Kenya and right. even move to East Africa just within, so right. that we still have uh, a way of making a living. Right. Yeah. 
which is interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, when, when you mention also of making a living, uh, so many companies that are out there on the map, um, mm -hmm. some of them have a, a strategy of how you know they filter out who should come to work with them, who mm -hmm. should not. Uh, to your company, maybe if somebody is watching and they'd be interested to come and work at Mel Safaris, because mm -hmm. I understand you're the CEO. <laughs> so basically you're the boss okay. and you're in charge of mm -hmm. like overseeing or oversighting who's, who's here and who's not here. Mm -hmm. Maybe if somebody wanted to come and work with you, is okay. it possible for them to come through? Oh uh, yeah, right. Uh, if they want to work with us, they can always drop their CVs or uh -huh. rather their papers at right. our email. We right. always have our details on all our social media platforms, from Instagram, Facebook, on uh, Twitter. You can find that uh, find us at Mel Safaris Tours and Travels. Right. Yeah, so you can uh, just DM us, or rather just send your email. Yeah. All right, which is okay. Mm. Um, speaking of uh, sending emails, uh, uh, how, how big how big is your 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 tours and travels company in terms of even uh, the employment capacity? Because I'm sure it could be like a medium. Is it a medium large in terms of even the numbers of employees mm. right mm. there? I totally understand. We are an SME. We are right. yeah. We are we are just a startup, right. but uh, we have a, 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 a small number that you are working with. Okay. But we are we are always ready to take in people. Right. Yeah. So you're flexible. We are very flexible. Now uh, let's talk about you know some of the gaps that you guys came to fill on the market because mm -hmm. uh, uh, I think it is last week when uh, we, we I spoke to an IT an IT lady who was telling me that you know her friend came up with um, a package or an innovation that wants to help. Uh, people you know who have lost their IDs mm -hmm. when you lose your ID you can go and log in in the website mm -hmm. and then you can be able to scan through uh, there's, there's usually a code number on your ID that mm -hmm. can be able to tell where, where the location of that ID is mm -hmm. and then you can later on find out you know uh, where it is and you can go and pick it up and mm -hmm. continue with your life mm -hmm. now in terms of solving some of the gaps in the tourism industry mm -hmm. what are some of them that you guys have managed to feel or you are currently working on to ensure that you know the, the tourism industry stays afloat as well. Okay. Um, not in the IT uh, related Not in one. the IT, specifically <laughs> okay, in the tour, in tour, tours and travel. Yeah, yeah, yeah of, uh, I understand. Now, uh, what we're trying to bring in majorly is to promote local tourism, number one. We, uh, we, I want to, when I ask you, Brian, do you know such a such a place? Right I want now. you to be able to know it. Before I bring people from abroad to check the place, I want right. you to know Kenya better. I want you to know East Africa better than any other place. So right. what we're trying to bring in as, uh, let me say, maybe tour agents and uh, operators, we're trying to find ways to uh, embrace local tourism. Uh, we are trying to find ways to uh, make people love our own country. You know, right. it all begins at home. Right. So, Absolutely. yes. So as we look for those hidden gems, as we look for those uh, new spaces, tourific spaces, we want to be able to deploy it to uh, local tourists first before we bring in people, you know, foreigners uh, to for, come to our country. Tourism. Yeah, and if we measure um, a lot on local tourism, we're going to build it really strong and um, it's going to br uh, take the tourism sector to another level, honestly. Right. Yeah. Hopefully, I believe you will. Yeah. Uh, and because each, each and every time, you know, when uh, Mantis tourism are uh, talked about, we, mm. we're always talking about, you know, Zungus from another yeah, country. Yeah. It's about, you know, people from so, Paris coming yeah. to Kenya yeah. or Africa. Mm. But some of us haven't even, you know, uh, taken up on that chance to travel, to travel and go beyond Nairobi, exactly. go beyond Mombasa, mm -hmm. Nakuru, etc. And I love the fact that, you know, yeah. you guys are feeling it. And speaking of mm -hmm. that, which are some of these um, amazing, beautiful mm -hmm. places mm -hmm. that, you know, you think Kenyans should go and visit mm -hmm. to just promote, you know, tourism in this country? Oh, my God. I mean, Kenya, we have a lot of spaces that we should explore, starting with maybe uh, our beaches, right. uh, Masai Mara, uh, Takawiri in, uh, uh, in the Nyanza area, we have yeah. Chalbi Desert. You people go to Dubai, but you haven't explored the Dubai of Kenya. Right. Yeah, yeah. so <laughs> I, I feel like we need to, you know, take, take you guys first to those places. Know every particular uh, uh, corner of Kenya. You know, just enjoy our views and everything before we, you know, start bringing people to see our spaces. And that we can only do maybe uh, when we promote even affordability, right. of, in yeah, terms of prices, in and, terms of prices and charges. Right. 
uh, the first step is, you know, giving someone a common one inch something that, uh, you know, they don't have to break an arm or a leg to, you know, right. visit a park or rather go to Masai Mara or rather visit uh, Mombasa. Right. And uh, during this holiday season, I know most of the people are planning for a vacation. Right, or a it's December. Yeah. You know? <laughs> this month is actually leading, is introducing us to, to you know, December. Christmas, December, yes, which yes. is like a whole festive yes, season. Yes, So right. I don't want you guys to go home, we shall go for December. Right. I just go on to Mel Safari Stores and Travel. We have various packages, affordable packages. Please talk about them. Yeah. yeah. The okay. most affordable, mm -hmm. uh, the ones that you offer mostly to, uh -huh. let's say, a client who has a very low budget. Uh -huh. to just start them off for a yeah. holiday because you also mentioned team building. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Now, first of all, we also have Lipa Pole Pole. You right. can put in uh, some little money as time goes by so that by the time Sikuya trip in Africa you have, you have already jazzed the whole amount. Mm -hmm. So in this December... How does that happen? Okay, so when, let's say you, Brian, you want to go to Watamu, right? Okay. So our package for Watamu for uh, four days, three nights, we're charging 15K only. So okay. maybe by that time... Uh, how to manage Kutoa the whole of 15k like this. You know, so you know the right. Kenya we live. So you can start paying as, uh, from now right. and you can start with as low as 1,000 pekeake. Uh -huh. So you can... Additional savings now. Yes, yes, yes. So okay. we, uh, in, uh, as you continue to pay, we will be giving you your receipts and, uh, you know, just keeping you going. And uh, we also give discounts and offers sometimes All right. uh, for... Travelers, when you're Mekuja in Assisi for more than, you know, five times, right. we offer them discounts as well. So most of, our, most of our packages are really affordable because we want to tap, uh, tap into the common one, mm -hmm. um, Sometimes, you know, traveling doesn't have to be expensive. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't have to yeah, be expensive. Each and every time somebody thinks of traveling, they'll be like, do you even have the money for fare? Do you even have the money for accommodation? Exactly. Because, you know... Uh, let, let's just say safaris in uh -huh. short or taking trips mm -hmm. are so so they are so deemed to be so expensive to a point like yeah you, you fear to even go to, or mm. to, to, to go on that trip because mm -hmm. you'll have to spend money for accommodation yeah money for food mm -hmm. money for security as well and it's speaking of security do you mm -hmm. offer a security package for example if somebody mm -hmm. is using mal safaris and they want to go to watamu like you mm -hmm. mentioned mm -hmm. are they guaranteed of a secure stay in their staycation yes 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 yeah. we do uh especially for private bookings uh we do guarantee you a safe space uh the accommodations that we have they have the best security yeah right. and if anything happens uh we as a company will get in and make sure your safety is um is awesome yeah it's is, mm. is, is guaranteed it's guaranteed yes now uh speaking of uh safety what mm. are some of the let's say some of the big achievements that you guys have managed to bag for yourself mm. and uh that you love to share that you would say you know mm. this one has really impacted our society our organization as mm. well as the tourism sector mm. at much mm. okay uh so i think uh, we've we've made uh, we've made strides which i'm really happy about as a company and as an individual, as the founder and managing director at Mel Safari Tours. Right. And actually, this year we managed to bag a nomination wow. Uh, wow. As, uh, as one of the top 30 under 30 CEOs of the year. Wow. And I am representing Kenya. Congratulations on that. <laughs> thank yeah. you so much. Thank you so much. So I'm looking forward to bringing the award home. Right. Uh, is it like a competition that, uh, you mm -hmm. know, has other safaris or other CEOs? Yes, yes, it? yes. Yes, it do have, in our category, tourism and culture, oh, yeah. I am representing Kenya, but we have other com uh, competitors from East Africa and oh. Africa. Okay. Yeah, so in as much as, you know, we are different countries and everything, we are looking forward to bringing the award home. To bring the award home. Yes. Hopefully you do. Yeah, we will. All right. Yeah. Now let's take a look at uh, some of the some of the things that you considered mm -hmm. before you came up with that. You know, as uh, a, a, a travels a tours and travels company. Mm -hmm. Maybe are there gaps in the mm -hmm. tourism industry that you are looking at to ensure that you fill, mm -hmm. so that you know the tourism industry stays afloat. Even in regards to the let's say the outgoing uh, CS that is I think CS Anaji Balala mm -hmm. who is has recently exited office mm -hmm. and uh, maybe are there differences in, 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 the, in the previous regime mm -hmm. that you feel like even this one should try and fill in terms of a, from a perspective of you as a CEO mm -hmm. and owner of a tours and travels company. Are there mm -hmm. things that you'd love to be changed mm -hmm. that you've, you've seen? Yeah. Right. Yeah. 
I think one of the many things that I'd want our CS to, you know, work on rather is uh, just getting our name out there as Kenya. And I mean uh, as a country. Uh, why right. do I say this? Because you can see countries like uh, Tanzania, uh, they have Zanzibar, they do market as if. Right. They, they do market as if there's no tomorrow. Like they want people to, to visit their home. If you see Rwanda, they're really working hard on making sure their name is out there. Right. And I'm just feeling like Kenya, we aren't doing that much. Right. We don't have maybe um, a channel to, exp uh, to just show how our country is beautiful. Because it is, surely, it is. So right. um, I'm looking forward to maybe the CS and the ministry at large. Right. Uh, finding ways on how to market us as a country. So that right. we, don't, we don't get to suffer. Uh, maybe looking for foreign clients or rather the, uh, the other tourists from abroad. Uh, we, le let's make the work easier, okay? Yeah, yeah. so I, wanted, I, I would love the uh, ministry to market Kenya as a whole okay. or just find ways of marketing Kenya out there. Yeah. Right. Mm. And, and I love the fact that, you know, uh, you're talking about, you know, how we should just embrace, you know, yeah. our, our very own. Yeah. Because, you know, we really take it for granted. Actually, most of the people will talk about, if you ask someone, what mm -hmm. is your dream holiday destination? They'll be like, Maldives. Oh, no. It's <laughs> you Bahamas. Maldives. But have you visited Nakuru? Have you, you know? visited Watamu? <laughs> right. Have you visited, uh, yeah. there's this place, it's mm -hmm. also unique in Mombasa, in the coastal region. Mm -hmm. what, what is it? Mm -hmm. There's a, uh, what is the name escaping me? Uh -huh. it, it has a lot of good sandy beaches uh -huh. and, and uh, the environment is so serene mm -hmm. with, with the sun mm -hmm. and, the, and the, the ocean scenario is uh -huh. just epic. Yeah, for example, there's snorkeling in Wasini. We can watch right. dolphins at home. God, why, why do we want to go outside before we explore our own? Right. Yeah, so before, this is a cue. Be, before you exit Kenya, tafadhali. Please. Jaribu kwenda kakameka kitoko, uoneko murima, muoneko miwa. Anyway, yeah. story for another day. Mm. Now, you mentioned also team building. I'm really interested. I mm -hmm. love team building myself. Uh -huh. What happens in, in, in that space? Okay, so for team building, we just come together. Uh, we work together with corporates. Uh, however small, however big. So I know we are approaching India and this is the time where corporates and uh, companies want to take their employees out for, you know, activities, team building and capacity building, just to bring them together. Right. And, you know, it's part, it's part of appreciating the it's employee. It's like a get-together moment of exactly. thank you. Exactly. You know? <laughs> yeah, some nyama <laughs> chama yeah. and games right. and ice breaking or whatever. And right. so what we do, we come in and organize uh, that whole package for uh, corporates and companies. Right. We give you a package maybe inclusive of transport, accommodation. If you guys are doing a, a, an overnight thing, we can do camping. If you guys want to explore, we can, right. uh, we can do just a, a day trip, take you to one of the destinations in Kenya and, uh, you know, just have a full day, a, a day full of activities. Right. And uh, yeah, it's just a bonding moment for the employees. Fun fair. Fun fair. I love it. Yeah. Uh, you mentioned also Airbnbs, and uh, yeah. it's, it's a very common business nowadays. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. But one thing that has made me remember that mm. uh, there's a friend of mine who years back years back they had a they had a situation at a certain airbnb mm -hmm. and it was it was told that you know they had cctvs connected mm -hmm. so you know people mm -hmm. have feared for their privacy mm -hmm. and they'll be like you know mm -hmm. if you are coming to airbnb tell mm -hmm. us if you have hidden mm -hmm. cameras yeah. on beds and and even at the loo mm -hmm. and i'm like what is not happening in this <laughs> airbnb now i yeah? totally understand now what happens nowadays one of the regulations that are there is that right. uh, we need to respect uh, someone's privacy. So when they, we don't need to have a CCTV in the bathroom or rather in the bedroom, whatever they do there, that's Under their the own sink, business. <laughs> and in, uh, yeah, uh, it's their own business. The, there's one that showed that, you know, this air, air con system, no, it's a fun, yeah. the fun air con system. Yeah. It has a, a hidden cheap. tiny little camera, yes. Uh -huh. So everything you do in that room is uh -huh. actually being zoomed on. Uh, uh, like, okay. What yeah, is yeah. not happening? Yeah. But you see, the reason someone would want to, a host would want to put a CCTV in their facility right. is because of maybe they think of those people who just come to ruin your property or rather, you know, there are people outside here who, you know, they're just drug dealers or something and right. uh, they, they come into your facility. Then at the end of the day, you'll be the one who will be asked, where is this person? So to avoid such issues, uh, some of the, uh, or some of the uh, uh, Airbnb, uh, Airbnb hosts preferred to put like CCTVs 
on their properties. But now right. one of uh, nowadays one of the regulations is to just uh, respect the privacy of your client. Client. Right. So nowadays it's a rare case. If right. you find a CCTV, it's just qua gate pale. So we make sure to take more of you know written details of a client so that right. you, if anything happens, they are traceable with the details that they gave you. Right. Yeah. I remember something. There was there was a, a case of a policeman who was involved in a murder case where mm -hmm. a, with someone they went to a lodging. Mm -hmm. but I don't know if it's an Airbnb also, but mm -hmm. maybe it was a hotel. Mm -hmm. And then I was shocked that the whole footage of everything they did was, was aired in the news mm -hmm. headlines. I was like, what? Does it mean that all these hotels <laughs> have hidden cameras in it? And yeah. then a friend of mine was telling me that all these fast uh, these uh, five star hotels, hotels have hidden cameras mm -hmm. in it. So he, mm -hmm. he was trying to tell me, hey, Sako, if you ever go to any five star hotel <laughs> and show what Be you careful. do in that room mm -hmm. is, is, is actually right. Mm -hmm. So I was really scared. Mm -hmm. This is a friend of mine who is scared to actually go to, to sleep at a five star hotel, even to shower. Because mm -hmm. uh, you're being monitored. monitored. When you go to the urinal, you're being monitored. <laughs> when you shower, being monitored. So yeah. it's 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 quite a scary a scary thing. And I love yeah. the fact that you know uh, you 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 talked about the regulations that mm. should be there. Yeah. Now let's come back to also ensuring sustainability in mm -hmm. the tourism industry as mm -hmm. well. Mm -hmm. Are there maybe uh, some of the things that you are looking forward to ensure mm -hmm. that you know uh, that industry stays afloat? In as much mm -hmm. as from an, div an individual point mm -hmm. of view as a company, to mm -hmm. just ensure that you know you guys are afloat. Mm, yeah. Okay. So one of the sustainability measures that uh, I suppose or I think the ministry rather should uh, put in place is just um, affordable affordability affordability in uh, in general accessing the parks shouldn't be like we shouldn't be like paying uh, or saving for like a whole year just to right. visit a park or other something of the sort. Just affordability, just make, sh uh, uh, put in their common wananchi in mind. Right. Yeah, someone who just wants to wake up and visit the National Park, Nairobi National Park is here. Someone who just wants to wake up, uh, wake up and, you know, go to Masai Mara, or go to the coast, or go to Chalbi, go to Takawiri. Right. Yeah, right. yeah, just like, make, uh, we want to make it some, uh, we want to bring in affordability as a factor. Yeah, right. uh, because it all starts from home and we know, in, uh, we want to, not make it as uh, as more expensive as it is deemed. Yeah, right. tourism doesn't have to sound that. Local, that is, this is domestic. Yeah. And you mentioned t ticketing. Does that mean you also deal with flights? Like there's clients who come to mm -hmm. you, they want to go to... There's, yeah. there's this there's this location that a lot of people go to a lot. Mm -hmm. Where? <laughs> the, the name is escaping. Okay. Maybe they want to go there and they want mm -hmm. to book like a private jet. Yeah. They don't want to go to like a public nini plan. Yeah. Take a tile, private, like, yeah. yeah. Do you offer also such packages? Yeah, we well? do. We do offer flight ticketing as well. Maybe you want to move to uh, Alabama or Singapore. Right. Yeah. Maldives. Maldives. <laughs> <laughs> Mauritius. Right. Yeah, we will be there to help you with your flight ticketing and details as well. And even local uh, flights as well. If you need to book a, a flight to Mombasa or Lamu, we will right. be there to assist. Even outside countries? Uh, yes, uh, yes. Uh, sorry, the East African region? Yes. Like, do you guys help people with passports? Yes. We do, uh, if you need a passport or a visa, we do also help you with that. Okay. Uh, yeah, we, uh, we customize all these details to what you want us to do to you. If you want maybe to visit Uganda, Kampala, right. that you don't, uh, for if someone doesn't have a pass the, the, the passport, they can ob always obtain the temporary passport from right. e-citizen. That is like right. 350 bob only. Yeah. So if you need assistance with that, we can always assist you. And with also other visa applications and... Uh, other other details that you uh, someone might need when they want to move from uh, uh, outside Kenya to another country, right. and also we do uh, assist our clients who move from other countries coming to Kenya. So we give them a whole itinerary of what to do right. from the moment they step uh, their feet in uh, in the country to yeah. all the activities that they'll engage in, and yeah, until they return. Until they they are mm. done. Yeah. And, and for somebody who's watching at home mm. and uh, they want to actually maybe be a CEO of, of a tourist and travel company and mm -hmm. they want to start it for themselves, mm -hmm. where do they start and how can they go about it to, to a level that you are, that mm -hmm. you know you've also been nominated <laughs> in, yeah. in, in a tourist and travels competition as well? Oh, okay. So it all starts with passion. Okay. Yeah, if you love what you do, you will go beyond boundaries. Right. Yeah, so if you're very passionate enough in, uh, in the travel and tourism uh, sector, 
start, use a start, look for a mentor. Right. A, yeah, someone who can guide you from step A to step B. And I think uh, we make these mistakes so that uh, the people who are coming behind us shouldn't make the same mistakes. So if you're someone who wants to start this, uh, just look for someone you look up to and uh, let them mentor you, let them show you the direction, let them uh, tell you the mistakes that you shouldn't repeat that we did and let them t guide, just guide you throughout. My phone is off. Yeah, so after you get a mentor, uh, if you need, uh, just study the market, know your niche and just, you know, dive through. Right. Yeah. Because, you know, somebody would think it's a whole research. I have to go. But did you study like a tour, tour, tourism, hospitality? Not you, really. you didn't have like a background in that, you know, field? Uh, no, I did study journalism in campus. Oh, you studied journalism? Yeah. So, so you should be on this end. <laughs> Clearly. Look at you now. Like the diversity yeah. of like, you know, yeah, being able to be multi-skilled. Mm -hmm. And I love, I love it. Now, mm -hmm. uh, let's talk about now the, invest, but, the investment part of it. How do you go from, you know, mm -hmm. exchanging contacts mm -hmm. to knowing people, creating mm -hmm. conversations, mm -hmm. the whole networking shebang? How do you get into it to a point you're now fortified mm -hmm. and solidified in the space? Mm -hmm. They say you, uh, your network is your network. Exactly. Yeah, you need to talk to people, you need to interact with people, you need to, you know, know people in your area or circle of influence. Just know what this person does. Interact, exchange, you know, views and contacts as well. And uh, I think one of the things that have really helped me, or rather, help me grow uh, and, and reach maybe where I, I am right now is right. just, you know, having conversations with people, just networking, having right. the thirst or hunger to want to know who is this person, what do they do, uh, can we do something together, I do tours, you do this, uh, can we be able to do work together or just partner in some way, yeah? Right. Uh, yeah. And also just to assist each other in life we, we are no man is an island so exactly one yeah. time I, i'll need you or one time you'll need me and maybe Either yeah way. yeah right yeah and and, and you uh, at some point you mentioned behind the scenes we had this conversation you mentioned that you know you don't have a physical location you said yours is virtual mm -hmm. which is very unique you know because yeah. uh, a lot of tourism and travels mm. company have yeah. companies have a physical location yeah. in town or somewhere mm -hmm. else where yeah. you know like if like like you mm -hmm. guys have to do a dispatchment mm -hmm. or you guys have to do an assignment mm -hmm. where you're going to meet several clients mm -hmm. here and there and how do you coordinate that since now it's virtual mm -hmm. in terms of even the vehicles mm -hmm. and everything yeah so technically we are moving it's 2022 we are moving to you know technologically we are moving to you know somewhere or some point where we will all operate maybe virtually one time so we are just uh, starting to embrace it as early as now. So we do operate virtually, uh, not fully, because sometimes when you need to meet our clients, right. we can always organize for that. So right. for uh, issues of maybe having our pickup points or rather meetup points with clients, uh, normally we prefer meeting clients uh, or rather picking them at uh, their homes or places. And uh, sometimes we prefer uh, meeting them uh, in town rather picking them uh, in CBD in town. We maintain a, a communi uh, communication channel with our clients so okay. they are fully satisfied and they are fully, um, you know, they get the services they need from us fully. R yeah. Right. Because mm -hmm. also the diversity of it all makes it even more beautiful. Mm -hmm. Now, who's, who has been your biggest, uh, let's say your biggest support system in terms of even, because this is, this is an individual mm -hmm. startup SME, mm -hmm. right? You started it on your own mm -hmm. and look here you are. Who yeah. would you say has been your biggest support system that, you know, mm -hmm. uh, put you up to where you are right now that you can mention them and give them credit and say, hey, mm -hmm. you, there's this song by, I think, I think it's by Beyonce or Sierra that says, mm -hmm upgrade you mm. you really upgraded me yeah right wow okay the list could be uh, could be long or short yeah. but i think one uh, one person or rather it's not one person it's a group of people okay. i think uh, the group of people that have really have uplifted me to where I am, uh, I am right now is just my network of other tour agents and tour operators right they've been able to mentor some of us it's not even just a matter of competition. We, uh, sometimes we learn from each other. We move from point A to point B, holding hands. And uh, I think why it's not for that team, 
or right. rather the uh, the people, my fellows in the industry, right. I wouldn't be here. They've been a great support team. And right. uh, also my, my dad, he's been able to push me from, you know, I studied journalism and now you, you're yeah. telling me you're doing tourism. tourism what do you mean? <laughs> Did you ever see yourself <laughs> whether going that direction? No not. Oh, um, Am I lack of a job, lack of a journalism job that led uh, you to that? I'm not really because I started, uh, uh, I started tourism back in campus while I was right. finishing. So uh -huh. I, I, I got into entrepreneurship b before getting into corporate and employment. So right. when I, w uh, I got into employment and I, uh, I, I could balance between, you know, my hustle and also uh, working for someone. Right. It was really, it was, it, I could balance, yeah? Until right. now I decided maybe I could focus on tourism for no. now. Because it was More. making you money, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. So my dad kept on pushing me and uh, at first I know it was, it sounded really like, uh, what do you mean? Are, are you serious? This is, this is something you're going to go with, you know? And I was like, eh. But, you know, let's do it. Um, I think the, uh, we are, at this age, it's when uh, we are supposed to, you know, take those risks, make those mistakes, and learn from them. So if you have to, do it now. All right. Yeah. Just start. Yeah. You mentioned that. Just Always start. start anytime. anytime. Yeah. They say uh, getting the work half done is yes, starting. Yes. Is starting it. Yeah. Because starting it is like the biggest achievement. <laughs> you know, somebody <laughs> says, "I want to be a doctor." Can you start researching on how yeah. to be a good doctor? Right. Yeah. All right. Uh, before we get to your lowest moments mm -hmm. and uh, some of the most uplifting moments in, mm -hmm. in your industry as well, mm -hmm. uh, what are some of let's say what are some of the strategies that you know you have in terms mm -hmm. of uh, ensuring that you know you have uh, credible sustainability mm -hmm. for yourself individually now, not mm -hmm. as a local travels and tourism sector at large. Individually. Yes. Okay. Okay. I think uh, one of the main things that I've done individually that has helped me, uh, you know, even run the company, is just uh, be, trying to be a people's person. Right. Yeah, just, you know, when you find uh, uh, attending these gatherings or attending these networking sessions, just go out there and, you know, put your name out there. Yeah, exactly. put yourself out there. Yeah, put yourself out there. Put yourself Throw out yourself there. in the deep end. Yes. And start swimming. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, as we wind up, your mm -hmm. most, uh, let's say, your most life-changing moments mm -hmm. that were big, mm -hmm. that put you, that made you, like, let's say, have some good harvest, mm -hmm. and then most, uh, most lowest moments that were mm -hmm. really also life-changing as well. Mm, okay. Uh, I'd, I'd start with the lowest moments. Okay. So I think uh, uh, running the company, one of the... Uh, my very, very lowest moments um, when uh, the sales are not there. Just like any other business, you can try as much as you, you know, do it, uh, market everywhere, put yourself out there still, but at the end of the day, you still find, ah, I don't have nothing at the table. Right. So you find it's very depressing sometimes. Right. And uh, f uh, for someone who decided to, you know, shift to entrepreneurship right. fully, you're like, right. so right. you, you're just there, you're like, Kwani, was it supposed to be this stuff? It's a dark place. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and yes. you have to do it anyway. Yeah, you have right. to. Otherwise. There's no other so you have to, mm -hmm. you have to pick yourself up. And uh, speaking of picking uh, uh, yourself up, you know, that, that is one of the, you know, strongest moments. You, right. you, you will fail, not once, not twice, not thrice you will fail continuously. But right. the main thing is, what do you do after failing? You know, learn right. from it. Good question. Pick yourself up. <laughs> what do you do <laughs> when do you everything do? fails? Do you, right. do you, do you, do you go down, down by right. yourself? There's no. people who are like, oh, me, I'm done. Me, I'm like, done. It's done don't quit before the you know. magic happens. Right. Yeah, so uh, just I, I do pick myself up, uh, see whatever, you know, what do, what do I need to do? What, what uh, should I change my strategies or something? You know, right. yeah. So I think in that uh, uh, in that line, then also one of my major major highlights or rather high moments right. was the very first time I got my international clients. Oh, amazing! Yeah. Congratulations. <laughs> when was this? I think it was uh, two years ago, or something when I w okay. we were just starting, and you know, uh, we were embracing local tourists as well. But right. when the international clients come in, they get your name out there. They are able to refer you to other people. And once you give them a top-notch service, 
trust you me, you're going to get referrals. And right. that applies in any other business out there. Right. Make sure your customer service is very perfect. Right. So that the, the people who will receive your uh, services be your, like your, your marketers. Right. They'll go spread your name out there because, yeah. hey, I went to Watamu with Mel Safari Stores right. and Travels. Mm -hmm. You guys should try and them. It was a nice experience. Yeah, so that, right. uh, that was one of my highest moments. Yeah. All right. Uh, mm. As we exit, because mm -hmm. uh, this is the last question, okay. uh, I'd like you to, 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 to tell people mm -hmm. uh, some of the visions that you have mm -hmm. for, for your organization as mm -hmm. well. And uh, if somebody wants to access your company, mm -hmm. where can they find it, mm -hmm. and et cetera, and some of the packages that you mm -hmm. guys have that will entice them to enjoy that journey. Oh, okay. So, okay. So, we are, uh, one of our visions is to make sure... Uh, we maintain sustainability in the industry. We want to, uh, as I earlier said, tourism doesn't have to be expensive. You don't have to break a leg or an arm to you know, visit Chalbi or visit Mombasa or visit Takawiri. Right. Yeah, yeah. Lamu. Lamu, you don't have <laughs> Watamu. <laughs> Watamu, Watamu right, Tamu. Yeah. So you don't have to, you know, think so much about, hey, am I going to manage or am I going to afford this package? So right. if you're looking for affordable packages, check on our social media platforms at um, Mel Safari Stores and Travels, on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And also you can check me out, Melvin underscore Akos, on Instagram as well. And we have two major packages for right. December. Uh -huh. uh, most of the December packages were doing private, but we, are, we, also, we didn't want to leave the common one out. Right. So we have a trip to Watamu and Takawiri. Brian, do you know Takawiri? Put me on the map. You, you know, I, I want to go to Bahamas, but I, I even don't know Takawiri. where Takawiri is. Look at me now. Surely. This is how this is how much I need to explore this country. Yeah, yeah. I think we'll find out. Yes. Are you giving us a package as Y254 so that we go? I could. We go there as the Y in the morning if team. If you guys cooperate and you know... <laughs> I mean, why not? Why not? Why yeah, not? We could give you a package to Takawiri. Takawiri is in uh, Nyanza. It's one of the spaces we discovered, I think, two years, uh, a year or two ago. Right. It's, it's one of the gems in Nyanza. Absolutely. It's in Rusinga Island. Right. Yes. So uh, in, as we continue to explore and, you know, unravel and unpackage Kenya, we right. want to find those uh, hidden spaces that are beautiful to explore. In Kenya, And so, right. yeah, we decided that this Jamhuri holiday in December, we are heading to Takawiri. Yes. A very affordable package. Three it's days, going to be two lit. nights. It's going to be lit. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and Watamu as well. Just check more of our packages on our social media platforms. Right. And we are always uh, online to assist you. Yeah. Right. Do you have a number? Because you said you're virtual. Yes, we do have a number. So you can get us on 0702-67-4560 or 735 all right, yeah. absolutely. We can call it a day now. Thank yeah. you so much for your time. I'm Melvin okay. Akot, CEO of Mel Safaris, to us and travel as well. Thank you. Thank you so much for your insights, mm -hmm. your time, and everything you've shared. Thank you so much, Brian. It was a pleasure. Welcome. And on that note, we are going to take a short break. We come back to check out what you guys are saying on the social media platforms. Continue to interact with us on the hashtag Why in the Morning, personally, at Brian Sako 101. See you in a bit. Mm -hmm.